doing the final sanding before the primer. This here, S13 was sanded with 240 grit sandpaper. Nice and aerodynamic when I go up against Alec Harnerdale. <laughs> hey, don't get your fingers stuck, mate. Big boost. <laughs> no, this is no boost. Little boost. <laughs> The whole kit's going on, but we're just going to prime it underneath and then go from there, pretty much. We're just doing what we can with what we've got, which isn't a booth or anything, so be interested to see what it's going to come out like. Yeah, so just doing a bit of masking and then it's going to be primer. And out the gate. Rainy, it's also raining, so, but um, we're not here to make excuses. We're just going to do it anyway. Come time to do the final stages and the color of this car, we'll probably try to get a proper setup and in a nice closed off area so we don't get dust over it we'll try do a fairly decent job of it either way however it comes out it's still going to be much better than what it was when it was first purchased also not to mention this car was not supposed to be touched it was just supposed to be a daily and um we're about a week and a half into this car and we're straight into it as we always do with a decent paint job and once we do the five stud conversion put some wheels on it probably the equips until the rx7's done it'll look pretty decent also picked up these cheap secondhand coilovers here that'll bring it down a bit 92 dollars 92 dollars for coilovers that's gonna be pretty mint that's how you uh build on the budget shot to all the new subscribers we've gained about a thousand subscribers in a week it's just been hectic lately yeah yeah yeah, shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out, new subscribers. We've got heaps of stuff on the way, so make sure to watch every video too, because sometimes we'll have like an Evo update in the S13 or something video, and then people will ask questions about, like, say, the RX7 when we had an update in another video, so don't skip videos. I'm a winner. Everything's done on the cheap, second hand parts all around. <laughs> what can we do? You mean a brand new part? Oh. You're good at masking, man. Yeah, quick job. Nothing special. Don't want these 20 year old uh, door trims getting sprayed, eh? I wanna go do some raids. What? What are you guys doing? Are you guys are going PK? Yeah, we're gonna go PK and Barok. Far Barok. up. Meet you at Barok Church. Yeah, I'll you again, Jerry. Mayhem Mink PK trips. <laughs> Mayhem Mink Clan. Uh, 12 a.m. GMT, Wellington time zone, so, you know, Friday night we usually head out. <laughs> Just the face coat, really, yeah. Yeah, but if your primer get wet, then there's all wet underneath your top coat. Yeah, so, yeah this is a nice spray booth we've got here. Yeah, got bird shits and all. So Pissing down with rain. Are the internals in your engine all shit, but it looks mint on the outside, is that all good? Yep. <laughs> Same with up. painting, you reckon? I give up. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, he's not a happy camper. We need to have a nice looking rocket coming from the deep nation over here. Our, paintings, our, our paint is not liking this rain. Yeah. No one cares about. But uh, we just want to get it done. It's all about what the physique looks like. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> you got like doubt to. Uh, no paint getting on there, Mark. Uh, well, Mask him up. Oh, we should two tone your legs. <laughs> There'll be a proper video of this engine and the Evo separate coming up. I'm just waiting for money and trying to decide what I want to do. If I just put it in as is and get it done or do internal work. So, just hold on. Yeah, better cover that up, eh? Rip the baddie again. So it's absolutely pissing down here now, but um, we're going last go over with the um, turps just to get all the debris and shit off. Just so you know. It smells like citrus too, so it's got good scent of cinematics. Um, here's the definition of no excuses. Yesterday when it was pissing down, it was flooding all over the concrete here, so what oh, Josh done, he decided to dig his own drain. 
because <laughs> we're not here for excuses, that's too easy. She's pretty much fully masked up now and we can get on the way with the first prime coat. It's going to be quite interesting actually to see how this turns out. Especially with uh, no booth and pissing down the rain, but that's alright. What can you do? Doing a good job. Oh, oh nice. Nice tail light mod. Go ream it. Ream it open. Not the right tools for the job, eh? No. Well, I don't know. It's getting pretty dark out and uh, we haven't even made a start yet. Oh, that looks nice. It looks like primer. Oh, like any paint, primer's like paint. Stir everything up nice and well. You don't want lumpies coming through the gun. They're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, we only like lumpy cams, not lumpy paint. And then we gotta measure it up. Yeah, this primer's four to one, so there's four parts. <coughs> one part, <coughs> and then the rest of it's it's a hardener. Fast hardener. Not very warm condition, so we'll need all the speed we can get. <laughs> oh, aren't you onto it? Four to one ratio. Kind of like the duff, eh? <laughs> bit diff. It's a bit diff. It's all about the schematics at the end of the day, isn't it? Like, when you're pouring paint, you want it to fall, like the first snow of the winter. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty snowy. Yeah, it looks pretty lumpy. Yeah, it does look lumpy actually. <laughs> but at the end of the day, what can you do? Right, you can probably do a lot, but... You know? That looks pretty hard. This is a real test. Opening autothane hardener. Oh. Ah, you're good. strong, oi. I reckon your tattoo's done it. That, your tattoos must make you stronger. Yeah, well, my tattoos are better when I die. Your muscles will fade away, lad. Ooh. Nice. That's the ratio you want, eh? Fuck the one, eh? That doesn't look like four to one to me. There. Oh, stream it, it? Yeah, this um, rain's taking its toll, so I'm gonna make a bit of a custom boot. Gonna put a tarp hole in up. Enclosed booth. Fuck, we're maxing out the weight on this. Oh, shit. This is the shittest thing to stir with. No tools for the job, man. Yeah, use it. Just wipe it off after. Don't tell Josh. Don't tell Josh. <laughs> Spanner on the job. <laughs> Shut up, Sam. I'm working. God. <laughs> it's a miracle, you reckon? Got a lot of teeth for a smart ass. Alright, got thinners in here. Thin the paint down. This is a top coating gun. So a small. 1.6 mil tip on it. Get that real nice finish. It's not really made for that thick poos, but oh well, look where we're doing it. Yeah, look at our conditions. I have voiced my concerns about this whole operation, but apparently everyone's deaf now. <laughs> no one wants to listen. <laughs> oh, someone told someone to wait on the Wait for a dry day to do it, but uh, <laughs> someone doesn't want to listen and just wants it done. No time to do it properly, but eventually have time to do it twice. <laughs> oh, that's the key quote. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> oh, in the middle of a storm. <laughs> Our painter's not happy, but uh, 
Charging. Shit. Gotta complete the job. They're not here to make excuses. <laughs> For anyone watching this video, if it's someone's job to do something, listen to them. Fuck yeah. I highly recommend not painting in these conditions. Look at. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a thumbnail right there. Oh, shit. Usually, before I pour paint or any primers into my gun, I'd like to drain it to get any poos out of the paint. Fuck, you can take it to But we're just gonna skip yet another step. <laughs> yet another crucial step. Because at the moment, there's not much more that can go wrong. <laughs> Hurricane Katrina's out here. <coughs> oh fuck. <laughs> rework? No way, there won't be any rework. We're doing it in fine conditions. I saw Sam and Josh doing that. And he's underway. I need a light on this situation. It's getting bloody dark out here. <laughs> She's definitely rainy out. Spacey on top of the bed. Holy shit. What can you do? Oh, well, we a little bit of That's about all we can do in these um, extremely rough conditions. We've got the first um, coat of primer down, so we'll do the rest on a better day. If you guys want to sponsor us an enclosed shed, that'll be um, pretty good too. So, Pursing down with rain. Done. Covering up all those spare metal spots. Just making sure the, yeah, don't want it rusting in the rain but that's about all we can do for now paint got wet not good <laughs> 